I'm about to give you the, the most, the greatest information that you've heard. I'm about to give you the, uh, some life-saving information, bro. This is the information that our people need to hear. Come check it out. Come check it out. Come around here and check these signs out I got right here. Come check this out, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what we out here for, bro. We out here for our people. Come, come around and check these signs out. I'm going to show you some stuff right quick. Tell me something. What, what's your nationality? Spanish. Spanish? His, Hispanic? Okay. All praises. So you do know that... Um, that uh, Hispanic, the word Hispanic means property of Spain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not the property of Spain, are you? No. Because what, what happened to our people is, um, you heard of Christopher Columbus? Yeah. Um, yes, uh, Fernand Cortez, Ponce de Leon. They came to where what is now known as Mexico, and they, they conquered the Aztecs, the Mayans, and so forth. You heard about that, right? So that's where you get the name Hispanic from, from your conquerors. Just like how they brought the so-called black man from Africa over here as slaves and gave us the name Negro, uh, African-American, black, so forth. You know what I'm saying? So look at this sign right here. You just said you're a so-called Hispanic or Mexican. That would be from the tribe of Issachar according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, like right now, I'm going to ask you one question. Um, you believe in Jesus? Yeah. You believe in Jesus, right? What does Jesus Christ look like? Is he what color is he? The way I picture him, the way everybody else is. Come, come, come! Look at this sign right here. Look at this. Come over here, bro. Come check it out. Who, who is this right here? That's Jesus, right? That's your Jesus. But I, I'm gonna show you something in the Bible right quick about Jesus. Come look at both of these signs. Look. We're going we're gonna to do like they do in baseball. It's called three strikes, right? We, the Bible actually describes what Jesus Christ looks like. That's what our people don't understand. Everything that we've been taught, we was taught through conquered, be, being conquered by other people. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Read that. J Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. The Bible says Jesus Christ's head and his hairs, the hair on his face was white like wool. Which one of these pictures got white woolly hair? This one over here, right? Okay, this dude over here, okay. Uh, watch this. So that's strike one against this guy. He ain't got white woolly hair. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Oh, uh, we don't. That's why it's snow in his eyes. Where's a flame of fire? Said uh, Christ's eyes was red like fire. Because Christ drank wine when you read the Bible. That's why his eyes was red. So look, okay, so you know that, right? So look, it says, which one of these pictures got red eyes like fire? This one over here, right? Okay, so read on. And his feet, now he looked down at Christ's feet. He said his feet, like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Yeah. Golden, brown, brown. It's a derivative of brown. You know what I'm saying? But listen how brown he said it was, though. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color it turn? Brown. Dark brown or black. So look right here. Which one of these pictures right here said Jesus Christ looked like? This one over here, right? right? So, who is this then? Who is this then? All right, but the Bible said Jesus Christ is a black man. That's what we just read. So, is this a black man? Actually, nobody knows. Wait now, wait now. Wait now, the Bible just told you what he looked like. Right. We just read it.
right? We just read what Jesus Christ looked like. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is a black man. Bring it out. If Jesus Christ walked the earth right now, he'll look just like one of us. Bring it out. You got to understand, think about this. He was from Israel, right. which is in Northeast Africa. Right. Almost everything that took place in the Bible took place in Africa. Bring it out. So how... What, where, 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 where was a white man at in Africa? Hey, Bring it out. out. Nowhere. Nowhere. But Jesus Christ is black. God is black. Right. The angels are black. Right. The prophets are black. Right. Give me Jeremiah uh, 14 and 2. Watch this. I'm going to show you because Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was a Jew. You know, he wasn't Jewish. He was a Jew. Right. So watch this. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 14 verse 2. Judah knoweth. And that's what tribe he was from. Jesus Christ was from the tribe of Judah. Right. So the Bible said Judah, which is the tribe, is in mourning. We. Really? And the gates of language. And the gates which are the leaders languish. They're failing. But watch this. They are black. What we'll color are the Jews? They are black. The Jews are black, That's according right. to the Bible. The tribe of Judah is black, according to the Bible. Right. So that means automatically Jesus Christ is what color, my brother? Black. That's right. So now I'm gonna go. So now I'm gonna go back to this again. So who is this? <laughs> That's your Jesus. Even though the Bible said he black, we just read that they black. Okay, I get that. No, that was two parts. Remember, we read what Christ looked like in Revelations. Then we read what the tribe of Judah looked like. Now, watch this. Give me Job chapter 30. No, give me Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. Watch this. So, we read that Jesus Christ is a black man. We described like this. We just read that we, uh, uh, yeah, my bad. So songs. We read that, um, that uh, the Jews, which is uh, Judah, is black, which is what tribe Jesus Christ come from. So we just read it all. His people is black. Now, you've heard of King Solomon? So King Solomon is Jesus' great, 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 great grandfather. So let's see what color. So let's, King, let's see what uh, exactly. Uh, uh, David's father. So let's see what um, color King Solomon was. Watch this. Watch this. Let's see what let's see what color King Solomon was. Uh, Jesus Christ's forefather. Watch this. Come on, bro. Let's see what color his forefather is. Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. I am black. Start it over. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. What color did Solomon say he is? What, what color did Solomon just say he was? Read it again. I am black, but comely. Solomon said, I am black and beautiful. That's right. I ain't got nothing against black. No, it's... it's uh huh. I got a lot of humble little black folks. Okay, but what but what we trying to what what we trying to show you is that we are all the same people, my brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not about black. It's about your your nationality. Look right here. See? Look on. Look at this sign right here. Judah. That's the so-called blacks. But look down here. What I just showed you. It's a car. That's the so-called Mexicans. But look, we're all the same people. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. It ain't about black or white or nothing. It's about your nationality. You're calling yourself a Mexican when that name... Or what do you call yourself? A Hispanic. Okay, so see, that was given to you by the people that enslaved your people. You know what I'm saying? That's not what God called you is what I'm trying to get you to see. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get you to see that God calls you an Israelite right. from the tribe of Issachar. That's who you are. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, because with Chicano, with, with come all of those different names are bywords. Give me that in Deuteronomy. All of those different names are bywords, brother. And it comes with a certain level of ignorance. That's why our people kill each other because we believe we all type of ignorant, dang, cr foolish crap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we destroy the way we are. We don't understand the fact that we are God's chosen people. Watch this. I'm going to show you what the Bible said about it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword. So a byword is something other than your God-given name, like Chicano, like Mexican, Hispanic, Latino. All of those different names um, are, are other, different from what God called you. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says you're going to be called a proverb and a byword. Right. That's what our people are. Read on. And a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And that's what God did. He scattered us all over the earth among all the other nations. Because we didn't want to keep the commandments of God. I'm going to ask you a question. What is today according to the Bible? Saturday. Saturday, but what does God call Saturday? The Sabbath day. What are we supposed to do on the Sabbath day? Exactly. But look around. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you what it is. Get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Go it's it's, it's, it's not life. This is what it is. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. You know. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. Like keep the Sabbath day. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come up on thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says, if we didn't want to do like he said, like what I just asked you, keep the Sabbath day holy. He said, all these curses are going to come up on you and overtake you. Now listen to this curse, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Now, when you go to the so-called, he said, curse shall you be in the city. When you go to the so-called ghetto, the hood, the vario, or whatever you want to call it, what race of people mostly live there? Not only the black. Exactly. So the Bible says, curse shall you be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field, and curse shall you be in the field. Who picked cotton for 400 years for free? From sun up to sundown. Who in the fields all around Lubbock, Texas, picking peanuts and chopping cotton and um, doing all type of work for, for basically nothing right now? The so-called Mexicans, Hispanics, right? The Bible say if, we didn't, if they, the Israelites didn't keep the commandments, curse you going to be in the city, curse you going to be in the field. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth